Welcome back to another episode of Mob Psycho 100. Finally, finally, the plot is under its way. Which plot? The broccoli tree. No, it's the divine tree cult arc, I guess. It's a little bit assimilated, but I think at the end, who was that? I think it was Dimple, but it might not be Dimple. It could be just a manifestation of the divine tree that somehow gained its energy and taken form on itself into a sentient being, or more likely, probably Dimple that has taken the divine tree and just turned it into this being that kind of looks like Bob and that isn't. It's one of the two. Maybe we're getting faked out because Dimple seems to have reformed throughout the seasons. Or she just waited and bided his time. And here it is at the end coming as the final end boss villain. I feel like that's... I feel like it's not right for Dimple to do that. Also, I feel like we might be just truly just getting faked out. So maybe it's just a divine tree. I don't know. But the cult leader for the Psycho Helmet religion has shown up. Everybody was like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm the leader. I want a piece of the tree. No, it's me. And then he actually sprouts like a broccoli tree inside the stadium. Everyone's like, holy shit, this guy's a real deal. Because everybody was just kind of talking bullshit. No one cares about being true. Like, no one really cares about the divine tree in the sense of it being like some kind of holy thing. No, they just want to take advantage of the situations. They can make money off it just like Reagan, right? Mob was not there. I thought that Mob would really show up and I thought that somehow he would be the cult leader, but no, that's not the case. And he's out of the act for now, but I'm sure he's gonna pop back up and settle everything. When? Probably near the end of the arc because he can't just solve everything now. Anyways, let's begin today's episode. Uh Divine tree bound. They're already selling a bunch of merch. Yeah, that everybody is monetizing the divine tree. Absolutely, it's all about the money at the end of the day. All the masses are just, they just care about, you know, using divine tree for their own monetary gain. But what does this fake founder, I guess he is the real founder now, because he does in the rule. What what is what does the founder have in mind? Exactly, it's just normal candy, yeah. Unless Oh the power surges through. No, that's the leader! That's founder right behind you, behind you, behind you! Why is he at Teru's place? What? His monologue suddenly started to worship brainwashing candy mm, it's not just for money oh well it is for the money but there's also a brainwashing element to it. i swear to god i saw the founder behind teru for a bit i'm not sure if that was just imagery of the candy taking over teru's brain for a second or if that was truly him can we destroy the tree that simply i feel like it's just gonna heal back up it's such a strong thing and it's attacking back. Are you okay? Alright, we're in. Who's in here? The founder? It's just that the tree is No, the founder isn't here. But is that really just Dimple taking advantage? <laughs> it kind of looks like Bob. Or is this a separate sentient being from the Divine Tree? Let's have a fight. Let's have a fight, come on. Cause that voice actor is Dimple! Sure, sure. Huh? Oh, the effects of the candy again, but this time with the eye contact. Everybody's gonna turn into zombies. That's gonna worship the Psycho Helmet religion. Teru, snap out of it! Snap out of it! Yeah, cause you can fight through it. He's back again! It worked for a second then, <laughs> not really. I feel like no matter how much you hurt the body, it doesn't hurt Dimple because this is just a carcass that the Divine Tree can keep producing. I feel like Reagan could break out of it. Oh, this is fucking rough. You are weak. But no matter how much damage you do to this, this body, it's just plant matter that can form again. It doesn't matter. He has infinite HP. You have to get rid of the root source. Teru is so mature ever since the beating he got in season one. It's Dimple, but watch it form again. Watch it form back up. Of course. Of course, there's no end to it. You gotta take care of the root source. You gotta destroy this thing in one go. How? Huh? Forever. 
It doesn't matter how much you take care of it. Oh, got bigger. Oh, shit, it's looking pretty buff now. <laughs> oh, no. Looking like Body Improvement Club. He knows. It's gotta be Dimple. It's pretty obvious. But I really wanted to think that it could have been like a sentient divine tree. But even Dimple, can he really control the divine tree this easily? At some point, it's gonna be too much. It's a nice way to close off the series of how Dimple got introduced as a cult leader, then it looked like he reformed for a bit, and now back at the last season, the last arc, he's resumed the position of the, the cult leader. But this time, it's pretty dangerous. What are you gonna do? This Lift it up with psychic powers. No, we need to put it into space. We can't put it in the ocean. We put it in the ocean, I think it's just gonna survive. We gotta put it in space. Like, we either nuke it, but then there's a city here. Or we port this thing to outer space. Or we somehow disintegrate it while protecting the city. Reagan is correct, but the solution is too simple. Wait. Oh. He eats this. The brainwashing. Careful now. Careful now. Have these two and make sure to spread it around to everybody who has weak, you know, S powers. His father is all in. Yep, his father's all into the divine tree. Little do you know. It won't affect Mob. I doubt it. Reagan for a second or a bit more? I feel like he will snap out. But if Reagan actually just becomes the divine tree's biggest worshipper, I feel like being the scam artist he is, he wouldn't. Even though he has no psychic powers. Ritsu. To worship the divine tree, of course. He's changed already. The candy's so good. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. This is a different location entirely. You baited us. Hello! This is another branch of the uh, Psycho Helen religion. I don't like her smiles. It's scary. Ritsu, how long have you been in? Look at them all smiling, just like the smile cult in season one. This is on a different level of cult, though, compared to Smile. If it brings peace to our heart, why is it making me so uncomfortable? This was formed way before. I just suddenly, after I started eating the candy. You had a feeling? Just had a feeling? It's more like the divine tree kind of has, like, control over everybody that has eaten the candy. And they can kind of coordinate everyone together without planning beforehand. Peacefully. But the smile you have doesn't look very peaceful. Reagan, come on, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. And then run, run, run. <laughs> yeah, we're running. <laughs> let's get the fuck out. But Reagan, I want him to take over the cult with his scam artist skills. I guess Ritsu's gone. Ritsu's gone. For now. Ritsu already got brainwashed so easily. Teru was able to break through. It's not just about psychic powers. It's about just mental fortitude. No, 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 no. He's also a cult member. Get out of This is scary. This is scary, man. Old man, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Higher defense. Oh, Otaku. But this is not the Akihabara, you know, Otaku. This is a cult. They're all cults. You too. Wait, you already learned. Because Ritsu heard it. And because I think, again, whoever is connected to the Divine Tree through the candy, I think everybody can already have some kind of, like, understanding of each other. This is actually terrifying. It's very creepy. Not necessarily bad, but they're led by a bad person. But it's getting out of control. It's getting out of control. Yes, exactly. It's getting dangerous now. Reagan, this is an opportunity for you. Reagan, take over. Mm. Reagan, did you already get affected? Why can't we see your eyes right now? If he, if he got brainwashed too. What is it? Kind of? I don't know. Reagan, are you... 
The way you're talking at the end there was kind of sus. Who's crazy? Am I crazy? Are you crazy? How can you know that you're crazy if I'm crazy? But what if I'm actually crazy and I don't know I'm crazy? But maybe you're the one that's crazy and you don't know you're crazy. Yeah, this is getting crazy. Can we just live like this though? I feel like we have to act upon it. No. The way you're talking about it is scaring me. Mob's gone. Mob? Gonna go to the tree by himself and take it out? Are you gonna do something right now? It's already the post credits scenes though. Come on. No. No. The credits are rolling. Come on, show me something before you end the episode. Hmm? What? Who is it? Tsubomi? No, it's not, right? It's probably one of the girls. Is it Tsubomi? No, it's the Mihato. Come on, I imagine if he just like take the tree out right now, just ends the arc. Wait, what? The original? They're all... The origin... Well, we know... We know that it was based off of Mob, but they're all... Mezato? What have you... This actually might play into it. There is Tsubomi. Old man, come on, get a grip. Alright, Psycho Helmet, but they don't know what's coming. They don't know what's coming. And that's another episode of Mob Psycho. Okay, so it was Dimple. It wasn't like a sentient divine tree, but rather Dimple taking advantage of this divine tree. It was pretty obvious, but I thought that maybe I'd give it a chance that it could be just like not Dimple, even though the voice actor was clearly Dimple. At the end there, so everybody's recognizing that they're there are two founders, the original, right? But what does that make the other one? The fake? The 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 six I, I don't I don't know. But I thought they'd be more hostile towards Mob. Maybe they would call him the fake founder. But they're all pretty happy about it. And looking at the way that Mezato his her eyes at the end, maybe she is actually doing a good job. I was hating on her a lot because all she did was use Mob just like everybody else. But if this actually succeeds in our favor, this might be good. Yo, the cult arc is getting so good. Again, it's a different type of threat compared to, let's say, the claw, where it's just battle, combat, new person appears, we take them out. This is on a different level. We can't just fight these regular humans, but they all seem to be connected through the divine tree. Everyone seems to have the same kind of hive mind, right? It's getting pretty interesting. There's no escape. And Reagan. Here's what I think is going to happen at the end. Um, Dimple... I don't think it's the final boss. Even though he is the acting enemy right now, I think at a certain point, Divine Tree will get out of control to the point where Dimple can't even control it. And the Divine Tree will go chaos and start attacking people, maybe. I, I don't know. Um, and then Mob will probably save the day. But Reagan, she's too smart to fall for this. And I feel like they're gonna keep teetering around of, is Reagan brainwashed? Is he not brainwashed? And when it really matters, it turns out that he was never brainwashed, but he tricked us all and he was... And he takes advantage of this whole cult situation because that's who he is. He's the pro scam artist. He is the original scam artist. So I have faith in Reagan. Anyways, if you stick around the song and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps you toggle, YouTube. I'll go push on my small channel to recommend it so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys. Take care.